fly you away, you away, you away Yeah, tell these other guys, get out your way, they can't complain Yeah, your mama proud of you, you out here doing your thing You said you been bad and bullshit, something you can't change Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a mukbang, which I surprisingly have never done a mukbang by myself, um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing one today, and I got some braids, I really like them, they're super cute, um, yeah, so anyways, I just washed my hands, and I got Dave's Hot Chicken, that's where I got my food from, um, I've ate this like once before, and it's just hella good, so eat it again and I don't have a napkin so one second all right I have to get like a napkin um so I'm just gonna be eating my food and answering questions that y'all asked me it wasn't even questions it was just like I asked for topics to discuss so I'm just really gonna go through them and yeah all right I'm not gonna eat both of these by the way actually I'm gonna tell y'all something someone said scariest experience and it just reminded me of something that happened to me Today, it's not like a scary experience, but it was pretty crazy. So, I was getting my lashes done, and my appointment was early as fuck. It was like at 9.30 a.m. Um, so, I was really tired because I go to bed late. While I fell asleep, y'all, and I don't know if this is sleep par paralysis. I don't, I hate, I mispronounce a lot of words, and y'all get on me for that. But, I don't know if that's what it's called. Oh my god. Wow, y'all, I just got ketchup on this dress. And I was going to wear this again. I mean, I was going to wash it, but... Um... Anyways... Be off topic. Okay, so, to make a long story short... Boop, that was the ketchup, not me. I fell asleep while the girl was doing my lashes. And... I, in my dream like I had a dream and in my dream I like was in the same spot laying there her doing my lashes but I couldn't talk like I had no voice and I couldn't move my body was like frozen and fell asleep like paralyzed so in that dream um yeah in that dream I basically was trying to get up and I couldn't get up okay I just realized they push it on here that I don't like I probably should have Remember to tell them not to do that, but fuck it. I don't like coastal. Um, but yeah, so I just thought that was crazy. Like, and I tried to get up and I couldn't get up. I tried to talk. I couldn't open my mouth to like have words and talk. I know. I know my dog's jingling is probably so annoying, but I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, then I woke up and I was like, oh, and the girl was like, I was said I was twitching. So I just thought that was really crazy. And I didn't know that could freaking happen because I hear about shit like that. But, you know, you don't really think it's going to happen to you. And it was scary. It was just a very surreal experience. I was like, what the frick? You know, it was just crazy. But my mom told me she doesn't think it was sleep paralysis. She said she just thinks I had a very realistic dream because in sleep, in the other one, you, I don't know the full definition, but I think she said it's like, I would have really been up, or I don't remember. Mm. Mm. Y'all, this, oh my god, I keep dropping, okay, I just can't wear this dress. I just dropped honey on me, and honey stains. I got the medium because you can get it really hot but when I tried the hot one last time it was too hot so this time I just got medium hot but this shit is phenomenal so good I've mixed honey and ketchup with mine I'm gross um mmm if you're in LA get Dave's hot chicken so good But, yeah, anyways. Need some water. Shout out to Eternal Water for stocking me with waters. Also, like I said, I was going to answer questions, but the thing that I posted didn't say ask me questions. I was like, give me topics 
for like a q a or for a video so a lot of things are just like video ideas so i'm trying to actually find like topics or questions that i can discuss mm. someone said oh if you can maybe vlog a little bit of your birthday party and sleep over oh of course y'all my whole birthday weekend is going to be a video and vlog and i'm actually going to have someone come film like a professional camera person or videographer come film as well i'm turning 21 we're going big y'all we're going big love your amazon hauls keep showing us stuff that you order online i'm addicted to amazon i have prime and i order things every day it's amazing um Oh, actually x out. Someone said, damn, my hands are dirty. Can't touch my phone. Do a video with seven again. I love y'all together. Oh, we definitely will. We were supposed to do another video, but schedules are always weird. I was far for a while where I was staying, so... Mm. Mm. This is too fire. Anyway, so I wasn't able to film because I was too far. Um. Have Almighty J rate your outfits. I don't think I'm ever gonna do another video like that where a guy's rating my outfits unless it really is like my boyfriend in the future. I'm single right now, y'all. Single, not ready to mingle. I'm happy though. But yeah, DDG, like we have we're friends, we have an understanding, whatever. It was cool, but I just I'm not gonna just be doing that with different guys. That's not the vibe. Um I mean, I guess I could if it's not lingerie, right? I don't know. Um, someone to discuss fake friends while you eat. Hmm. Well, I'm eating, so how do I discuss fake friends? Hold on, I want more honey. My opinion on fake friends is that depending on what age you are, especially a lot of like younger people, I feel like watch me. You're going to come across fake friends at some point in your life. Like, if you're in high school, for example, the people that you're friends with now, and I mean, I'm not saying everyone because I know people that have been friends since high school and have really long-standing friendships, which is amazing. I wish that was me. But most likely, you're probably not going to have the same friends that you had in middle school, high school, even your early adult life. Like, people come and go. That's the sad reality of the world that we live in. People come and go. People change. People mature. People just, you know outgrow each other like I moved away from all my friends that I had in high school and whatnot so you know some we definitely kept in touch but to be honest most of the girls that I thought I was going to be friends with forever don't even speak anymore and it is unfortunate like I wish I did have long-standing relationships and friendships but I've moved around my whole life so it's just something that I'm kind of used to um I feel like if I stayed in my hometown and grew up there and didn't move till I was older then I probably would still be in contact with some of those people but I lived in like three states in my entire, you know, school years from really four. Yeah. No, three, three. Um, yeah, from elementary to middle to high school, three different states. So it's kind of hard. Um didn't really even I wasn't really even about fake friends but that was just to start off the topic but overall even now I've come across so many fake friends y'all you just have to know what's worth it and what's not worth it like the old me even a year ago would probably go off on every little thing I found out any little thing that someone did now like I recently found something out about a friend who proved to be fake and I didn't even address it to her 
she doesn't even know that I know what I know and I'm not going to address it to her because she's grown first of all she's way older than me but we're both grown I have priorities I have a life I the issue wasn't even relevant it's just something I found out and I'm like I could address it but one she's probably gonna deny or lie two her actions are probably not gonna change three it's like what am I gaining from it like let her do her I'm gonna do me you know so What's the point on that? And it's no one y'all know, by the way. No one I've been on video with. It's not even a close friend. So don't be trying to over there investigate. <clears throat> You've been saying you were going to do a skincare routine. Why haven't you done it? Um, I still plan on doing it, and I know I've mentioned it in like every other video, but the reason I have yet to do it was because one, like I've said many times, I was not home. I need to be home in my own setting, my own comfortable space with all my products to do a proper skincare routine. Two, um, when I just got back, I was breaking out. That's why in my last vlog, you guys saw me with the mask and like talking about that. So I don't want to do um, a skincare routine with breakouts. Like I want my skin to be at a good point so I can really show you guys, you know? Cause I'm not about to be one of those fake um, makeup people that, no shade or anything, but I'm just saying girls do this like skincare routine and they really have on like foundation and it's like, girl, no. Like I'm giving you the raw uncut version, my how my skin really is. So I want my skin to be on point. And I have a few breakouts that I wanna go away. So until then, yeah, that's why I haven't done it yet. Um, my birthday's this weekend, and I need my skin to be popping, so I've been really extra taking care of it. What? I got y'all. This month, I got y'all. Alright, I'm done with my sandwich. I'm going to say the other one. I'm kind of sleepy now. That was really good, though. And I'm not a sandwich person. Like, the Popeye's chicken sandwich, y'all. To me, it was hyped up. I did not love it. But, this was fire. Love it. Yeah, the Popeye's chicken sandwich, now that I'm thinking about it, it wasn't that good to me. It was just all right. I'm like, what was the hype? I was also late on it. I didn't get it till like after the second release of it. Um, I don't know if it was just better when it first dropped or what, but I wasn't a huge fan. I didn't even eat it since then. Tried it once, wasn't really tended to eat it again but this is really good I'm not exaggerating and I'm not a sandwich girl I like burgers and chicken by itself but not chicken sandwiches I'll do a few more topics or questions um how to dress better <laughs> that's funny I don't really have the answer to that because to be honest with y'all, the way I dress isn't really how I would want to dress if I was able to dress how I wanted to, if that makes sense. Like my style ideally is like, I love old 90s supermodel fashion. Like if you just go on Pinterest and type in like 90s supermodels outfits or runway shows, like I just love that vintage -y designer look. But that stuff is expensive, it's hard to find, it only fits certain body types, like there's just a lot of things. Oh my god, y'all, I'm just realizing, and I apologize, his collar is going to drive me and y'all nuts when I watch this back. But I'm sorry, I didn't take it off for already 16 minutes into the video. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, like I love that kind of style. Very vintage Chanel, bougie, like love that. 90s. 90s fashion is like my inspiration for everything but I don't dress like that because I feel like I don't have the means to get clothes like that and I've even asked around like stylists that can pull looks like that for me but it's hard it's harder than it seems you have to really have connections and know where to get the right stuff from because I don't want to look tacky or like you know I want it to be authentic and fit me and my personal style um and you know I have to promote a lot of clothes for brands that pay me so Ideally, all I'm going to really be seen wearing is the clothes that I have to post about because they're paying me to do it. Like, this is Pretty Little Thing. Love this. 
I mean, this is still my style though. I like trendy, like flattering the body type clothes. You know, very sexy but cute, still girly. I would say like a mix of a mix of Ariana Grande and Rihanna. That's my style. Oh, and throw some Kim and Kylie in there. No. Yeah. Sneaking out stories. These fries are cold. I don't even know why I'm still eating this. Um, anyways, sneaking out stories. Honest to God, on Bible, I don't have any sneaking out stories. My mom was very strict. The house we lived in, well, both of the houses, one had both, they had alarms and like the way it was set up, it's nowhere that I could sneak out. I would have to go through the front door. When you open the front door, it's going to say front door open or the alarms will go off or I'd have to like take off the alarm. And when you type it in, it's going to go beep, 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 beep. There was just no way for me to do that. I would have gotten in so much trouble. The most I've done is like I lied about where I was going. Like I would say I'm going by a friend or something and then go to a party and then be like, oh, I'm going to spend the night, stuff like that. Or I'd stay out past my curfew and make up an excuse. But I never snuck out. I was too scared to do that. And there was just no way for me to do that. I think I thought about it, but it's like I didn't have a window or like a back doorway to leave. You know what though? In the last house I lived in, we did have a basement and the basement had a back door that led to outside. I technically could have done something like that. I think I thought of it or I was close to it, but I never fully went through with it. I may have snuck someone in before, like not a boy, like a friend. I don't know, but never anything too crazy. Mostly just lying about where I'm going or like, you know staying out late do girls like when a guy is obsessed over her um this is gonna be the last thing i talk about so this is very controversial because i personally of course if i like someone or i'm in a relationship with someone um they better be obsessed with me like what's the point if not i actually tweeted that before like what's the point if you're not obsessed with me what's the point but when it becomes too clingy, like I personally, I don't know if it's a tourist trait or if it's just me, but I get annoyed. I'm not a very affectionate person in relationships, friendships, even with family. Like I'm not the type to come up, smother you, kiss you every five seconds. But like guys that I date are like that and I either love it or hate it. Like a guy I was with before, um, he was very affectionate and smothered me and it annoyed me. But... A different guy I talked to like he's the same way and I liked it maybe because I liked him more and also they were completely different guys completely different personalities it just really depends on the relationship but I feel like if you're in a relationship they better be obsessed with you like I'm obsessed with whoever I'm with I just might not show it as much and like people often misconstrue that like do you even like me or whatever because I'm not all on them but trust me if I didn't like you I would not be wasting my time with you I just don't express it in a dramatic obvious way but you know that's that so yeah i'm gonna save this other sandwich for later it comes with two sliders and fries and the fries are cold once you eat the once the fries are not hot y'all they're trash so probably won't even eat the rest um hope you enjoyed this little mukbang mukbang i don't know how to properly say it i need to like look it up because i always switch it up but yeah um it's just something quick Also, I needed to do some videos while I have these braids because I got them yesterday, y'all, and I'm taking them out um, Friday, and it's Wednesday right now because on Friday, I want to do a shoot with the braids, and then I want to change my hairstyle for my birthday, and I'm not even going to tell y'all what it is, but it's going to be cute. So, yeah, I want to switch it up. So, low-key, I'm trying not to waste them and make use and get pictures and content and stuff while because I love these braids, y'all. I never thought I would get braids. Like, I've never been a braid girl. I've loved how they looked on other girls, but never thought they'd look good on me personally, and I really like them, and they're easy to deal with. They're perfect for quarantine. I feel like everyone's getting braids because it's like you don't need to do your hair. Um, But, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Fala you, man, you, man.